One thing is um, what the industry tailwinds are or the economic tailwinds are and what businesses can do. The other thing is whether businesses themselves have matured, have uh, transitioned enough to be able to withstand uh, some pain and then uh, recover or rather shoot off on the growth path once the uh, other things stabilize. Do you think Indian businesses are uh, slowly but surely scaling up to that level? They have to do this and I think that's one of the uh, as an industrialist or as a promoter or as a, as a company in company manage we have to look at what can we do on our own rather than going on blaming the environment and indian uh, businesses have always looked at environment and what has been the impact on their business and can we say that okay you are a very very small player in a very large country uh, you will also be a small player in your own segment of business and there are enough opportunities for innovation, for creating growth, rather than blaming environment. And I wish that Indian industries looked internally rather than blaming externally. Internally in terms of improving quality of their talent, having the right strategy, bring in focus, bring in innovations, have a growth mindset. If, if they do this, then I think the blaming the environment will reduce dramatically because in the worst of uh, sector we have seen some companies thriving because they've done something which is really impactful to the consumer so don't get swayed by the economy not growing by much higher growth rates but do things on your own which will which will make you stand out what would you wish mr mariwala that uh, for example, that consumer space, discretionary otherwise. The reason I ask this question is also this, that I remember in the past, whenever auto sales would slow down, um, and just using a discretionary uh, sector as an example, companies would say, we need some excise benefits, some benefit, this benefit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and things used to come back. This time around, one or two companies may have said that, but we've had Maruti come out and say that we don't need any kind of uh, rollbacks of rates, et cetera. We'll manage on our own. So what is it that you see Indian companies not doing or you would wish that some of these innovations be done um, to give you that confidence as an industry veteran that um, things are looking much better than what they were maybe 10 years ago? I would say the most important thing is have a very, very deep insight of what the consumer needs are mm -hmm. and tailor make your product in line with that. Suppose if you are in motor cars, for example, and a lot of your features may not be relevant to the consumer. Can you cut down some of your features and reduce the price points? I'm just giving one example. Sure, sure, you know, of course. Or do some innovations, you know. So these SOPs, as you were rightly saying, they will have a very short-term effect, you know, in terms of uh, bringing back the government. Also, it doesn't have that much of resources to give in SOPs. And we've seen it in this budget. There's no SOPs have come. Yeah. Which is a good thing, you know. Every time you can't go to the government and say, I want SOPs, you know. Can you do something on your own to drive growth, you know, whether it's pricing or whether it is innovations or whether it is uh, whatever is required to drive growth, you know. So it's very important to drive your own journey. I understand sometimes the business can get impacted because of the environment, but can you overcome that uh, by doing something unusual? Because in a bad industry also, as I said earlier, there are good players or there are players who are doing well. 